have the, the the government subsidizes costs for expeditions to a degree. Not fully, unless they're state-sponsored ones, obviously, but hmm. if you as expeditionaries are putting it up, I think we would have to talk to Charlotte about that, but I know in the case of normal civilians putting up contracts, they subsidize anywhere from a third to a half of the cost in terms of logisticals. So the stuff you have right now, a lot of that is subsidized by the state. Right, right. Okay. As expeditionaries, I'm assuming you mean to hire scouts for a site of expeditioning. That yeah, just to, just to give us a rough idea of what to look forward to. That is possible. That is possible. Uh, Ruhan, a question for you. My... Custom requests do take more, though. If that's of any relevance to you. That makes sense. Do ya race holds out the cloak? Do you want this thing back? It does mean a lot to me if you're not using it. Hands it back. Take it. He takes it. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll make a thing. What did you say, Ember? 3,500 gold? Mm-hmm. Yes. That's three, that 350 platinum, yeah? Yes. It's a big chunk of change. But better right. to use it than die with this. <laughs> Slides over, 350. Pleasure. Another thing for those intelligent lads and lasses to make another one of. <laughs> No complaints from me. Okay. I, I think that is shopping done. Uh, well, sorry, Garth. Before you jump into the question, uh, that's one supreme healing for each of us. Hmm. Correct. Uh, I have updated the gold. Don't panic in the bag of holding. <laughs> <laughs> the money! Uh, no! That is a rebreather for rays and uh, potions for the rest of you. Oh, shit. We have antitoxins. Forgot about that. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and a uh, cloak of displacement. That's part of the standard things here, I think. <laughs> it's not the... the fucking blankets. Yeah, I know. Do. <laughs> I think you also have the point of Ferris stone still. I mean, that might come in so, handy. Yeah. The yeah. adaptable environment bubble fucking, like, you're basically dropping the equivalencies like a fucking sanctuary zone in, like, a sci-fi game with one of those. <laughs> Yeah, okay. so oh, that is shopping done, I think. Unless you guys have something. Mm -hmm. Let's say it. Uh, hey, I don't think so. I was just after the basic health, I think. I think Garf has something. Yes, I do. But um, I was wondering if you had any any capability to like bolster the armor that I have. Well, beyond what it already is, and also fix up the fucking laser hole or disintegration holes. I don't see any disintegration holes. Plus one equipment, magic equipment, doesn't break that easily. Oh, fuck. Yeah, you're right. Uh, yeah, I think that might just be emotional trauma that you're holding on to. There are definitely some that, that go. are destroyed. I can see that. But the main core elements of it, particularly where the Sigildry is, holds up. The important In terms of bolstering it, you mean making it stronger itself, not making you stronger, right? Yeah. From an out of game perspective, I'm not entirely looking for like a plus one AC. I'm looking for like the the resistance thing to like increase that. Similar to like um That cost you uh, right. it'd be tampering with already. Okay. This okay. is Vancoshi armor. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> okay, that's a higher price. That makes sense. If I could get 4, plus one AC, then yeah. Uh how much do I have? Regardless of what you want to do if that's forty five hundred. Yeah. Venkoshi gear is specifically designed to not be tamperable. That makes sense. They are very stringent in their equipment. And How much would it be to get like a different suit of armor? Technicality. Well, one. here's a funny thing. In technicality, there is a number. There are a number of Venkoshi quartermasters that have the disintegration code for your armor right now. Ooh, that's fun. To prevent it. 
to prevent it from being stolen. They, there is a, a disintegration code that they could send to it. That, that makes the cack is it has to have a Venkoshi conduit within a certain distance. Mm -hmm. So if Vindred is near you, they could relay through him a disintegration code for it. It's like point crisis right. for the first crisis. Well, I guess in the first crisis, it gets rid of the corpse, too. And, would, well, my question don't, is, don't question. <laughs> would we have been informed of that when we were given the armor? No. Probably not. Mm, that brings up a problem, because I was just like, maybe I could trade it in and get an armor that's equivalent and have it modify that armor instead. But I don't think they'd be fine with that. <laughs> no, that's how you got on a Venkoshi shit list pretty fast. They're secretive. Uh, okay, I, I, I think she's smart. Tenkaoyu, I was supposed to use the word Venkoshi <laughs> anywhere. <laughs> I haven't used that yet. I don't think I have. Yeah. Well, I'm just saying, like, that's how secretive they are. Like, yeah. they don't even use their own name outside like of their the organizations. They're like the Fabruli. Everybody knows, but nobody knows. Yeah, exactly. No, no one. <laughs> if you guys drop the word Venkoshi, no one would know who you're talking about. Ooh, that's mm -hmm. interesting. They, they're out they're externally. Best. They're just referred to as Maestro Acquisition Agents. Hmm. That must mean that they police okay. it as well. That's, ooh, I terrifying. Like uh, there so are. There are subdivisions of the Venkoshi forces. Like, there's the main one that you guys interact with. There is, um... There's a martial one, which is to... There's, uh... I'm trying to remember. It's I remember the name of it. But there's one that scouts up sites. There's martial ones that follow up upon it to, di to dictate how much forces are required initially. There's the main one. And there are, I guess you call them, silencers to keep their secrets amongst themselves. So, you know. You're 100% correct. Don't spread that shit around. <laughs> so, mm, how much? How? Mm, focus. I think I can how solve this swapping? problem for you, Rose. Yeah. How about swapping out the armor for something of his make that he can modify later down the line, or currently? You should. You should definitely not give that to them. <laughs> like, give him the plate. Yes. I wasn't going to. Uh, however. If you wanted to gain a plus one, like, boost, I I have the Mithril plate. That's plus one that wasn't made by them. Oh, that's good. Well, the Vikoshi one, I think, is like a plus two, isn't it? Or is that a plus one? No. No, it's... Hmm. I think swapping that out. I don't believe I gave you guys plus two armor. Yeah. No, it's a plus no, one armor. I don't right. think so. You're right, I'm mistaken. Um, in that case... Would he be willing to modify that armor instead? Uh, he'd be. W I mean, he's not unwilling to do any of these. Just you guys are unwilling to pay him. <laughs> uh, Fair. What, would it affect the price to have that armor modified instead? It would be higher than, be higher than normal. Um, not as much as the Venkoshi one. Um, hmm. to bolster it, to take and give it back to you, that probably costs you. Mithril's outland material. Uh, Ember's pretty knowledgeable, so maybe not 3,000, maybe 2,700. Okay. I have 1897, so 2,700. No. And he'll take, he'll need time. How much time? He'll work through the night if you want him to. Do. If you want to go up around his speed. Like, at a 2700 set, three days. Do we have plans to leave? Two and, a, two and a half, if he's having a good day on one of those days. Fair enough. Leaving sooner is better, but if you have a work order put in, I'm sure we can Wait. find something to do for a day. <laughs> yeah, the thing uh, is, like, to change out some sigildry on Mithril, he has to sort of wipe the previous sigildry. And then or figure out a way to add on to it without damaging its core. Right. In the first case, he'll need more Mithril to cover up and clean up the first set. Oh, then it might only be more. Than... Well, the Venkoshi one is designed to the point where, like, if anyone tampers with it, it destroys the armor. Which means you have to be very, very careful with it. Yeah. And that's assuming he knows Venkoshi artificery, yeah. which he doesn't, <laughs> but he can figure it out. <laughs> Which sort is of, probably not healthy for like, him. Contra like, even though Varric gives Ember a lot of shit, he does acknowledge that Ember's a good craftsman. This is the point of a, a good craftsman. He can reverse engineer. Yeah. Uh, Garth, there is 84 platinum left in the bag. Okay. Just so that you have aware if, you, if that affects your math at all. It does, because I'm short 803. 
I, I'd be willing to, like, pay for my stuff, but I just don't have money. How much would expedited uh, work be? It would run you an additional 500 per day. Hmm, so be like, hmm. Because remember, Ember's in charge, and he's the one that's going to have to be doing it. Yeah. yeah. It's just no one else I, will be able to reverse engineer stuff. I think. Yeah, I think just getting like um. Actually, uh, time would probably be a better financially because at that point it's just like we're running a lot more. Yeah. Mm. We'll say four hundred per day. Okay. I think there's someone that could do some lesser procedures for in his stead. So then, it'd like be, the scrubbing of the signal tree, so to speak. Right. So that'd be like an additional like eight hundred or just four hundred, or four hundred per like day. I want it to be sped up, right? Yeah. So if you want it done that like by the end of today, that's an additional thousand two hundred. Cool. I don't think I could take that much from the thing. I, I I think I'd be fine with waiting if we'd be fine with just finding something to do in the town for a few days, or we could just fast forward. Mm -hmm. Your guys' choice. I am but here to facilitate. Be the economist I am. <laughs> if if we if we go that route, I think it is better to put in the work order. Unless you unless one of you ends up without armor, it might be better. They give you a, they'll give the lo a loner an unenchanted yeah. loner set. Also, yeah. I would still have the Venkoshi play. He'd be affecting the Mithril, so I would still like have my armor. It might be better than to wait. And put a work order in, and then come collect it after we get back. That's not a bad idea. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be sitting here for a while. Yeah, because it's a while to get out to the Waystones, much less the other location, doing the missions and then coming back. What would I say? A month? <laughs> so, yeah, I've got, I've got like two months stuck in my head or something, is that? A month there and a month back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. it's two weeks to Waystones, two weeks back. So yes. one month for that one, uh -huh. something like that. Maybe like one and a half, but all those lines. Just wait like the three days. Yeah, and then however so long it takes to actually get the stuff done. But if if it's Ruan, they'll give you a plus one loner set because that one will magically fit you. Versus a, a normal unenchanted point would be uh, <laughs> a more unwieldy, so to speak. Yeah, uh, whatever. It's good. I mean, I don't, I don't roll stuff that often. That's the only loss, and if it helps her, is up. Well, you can have her like Venkoshi armor, unless like, nah, he can't use it. Just full stop. You can use it. Okay. Uh, so then it just comes down to, do we even have? Or you just talk to the Venkoshi people in town to upgrade your Venkoshi armor. That's enough. <laughs> The Venkoshi occupy not a wing, but they have their own little sector in here in the compound. Well, compound and royal guard complex. Right. Well, well think of it. Think about it this way then. We have a uh, an estimate from Ember. This is what it would run to get him to uh, do that to the Mithril. Why don't we go and have a check with the uh, Venkoshi and see what and see what uh, what what's what. Yeah, and uh, we, then we can make a choice. We don't have to buy one before looking at the other. In this instance. I can work with that. Any other purchases? No, I think I'm good. Mm -hmm. No, because I might need my money. <laughs> <laughs> By might, I mean I'm going to most likely need my money. So, you guys hold Ember to his word about the pricing and decide to go investigate a different uh, possibility. And uh, let me... Actually, one of you guys roll me a D100. I okay. won't use an I-89 for this one. Okay. Go for I'll it. be counter-rolling against you. Boom. Too slow. Ah. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a good thing you're, you were using L's, right? Yeah. Oh, it's so close. You're so so close. Clap. <laughs> <laughs> so close, yet so far. Okay. Uh, it'll be. I think it'll be apparent why, like, what this lucky 
what how lucky this is you'll, you'll find out so you guys decide to go talk to the they basically set up their own smaller area towards the back side of the expeditionary hq compound it's filled or it itself is sub compound does have its own barricade line and everything like 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 there's like a cement wall dividers i guess and of course perimeter security and stuff like that and as you guys approach a number of sentinels i guess you call them watchmen like turn to look at you they they know you're wearing their gear they just don't know who you are <laughs> cuz you know they know everyone that is stationed here and you guys are not, not. sleeping in their barracks <laughs> But, you know, your Renkoshi armor does warrant you courtesies and attention, as opposed to, I don't know, pointing guns at you. An officer walks up to you, looking semi-similar to uh, Vindred. Unsurprisingly so. I imagine Uniform a lot of them armor. look semi-similar. <laughs> yeah, indeed. He says, rather simply, state your business. Uh, I won't be doing the gas mask filter because it makes things too quiet. And uh, immersion. I wanted to see if we could bolster this armor before going on a mission. Who are you? Uh, he holds out a hand to receive something. Uh, we don't have like a. Uh, we're an expeditionary group that worked under Vindrid recently. He puts so, his hand away. He turns on his heel and walks away. That's why I figured it's And we'd be talking to Dr. Mandy Connor. He's just walking into a building. It's like uh, one of like temporary, like mobile, like you know, like one of those ones. Yeah. Where he does look like field marked. field outpost style. He walks in, you guys are just sort of left standing there with a number of guards looking at you still. Not like raising like their weapons are drawn, but their weapons are always drawn. Yeah, they're, they're doing guard duty. I'll just make sure shit doesn't happen. About five minutes later, he comes back out. Follow me. Nods and... He walks goes. out to the side to a different building. You guys cross past the you know, barricade line. And follow after the Sarvaton. Well, actually, no, he wouldn't be Sarvaton. He'd be higher. Not that you guys identify rank, never mind. <laughs> yes, you guys We're don't know how to differentiate shit. Yeah, you guys don't know how to differentiate it. So, anyways, you guys follow after the officer, and he brings you over to their version of... It's still... It's an open-air temporary setup, if that makes sense. Like, it has, like, corner pillars built up, walls interlacing between all of those, a grid top... Uh, a, yeah, well, yeah, grid iron top. Like, so it still has open ventilation and stuff like that. You bring you over to their forges and stuff. They're, they're uh, to use the name of the wind terms, fishery. That's a fun word. It's artificery. Everyone just calls it fishery, fishery. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Whatever. So you bring you over to their side of things. And it is a drastically different style than what Embers is, but it's similar enough to the one you guys saw before with uh, Quartermaster, I believe, uh, Quartermaster Clyde, Clyde Levins. That sounds familiar enough. You know, the, the welding mask guy who sort of snaked around in a really ominous manner despite how much shit he had on him. Quartermaster Clyde, funnily enough, is here. Hey. And he still looks the same. Quartermaster Clyde still has his mask, his welding mask. He has all the different gizmos, gadgets, and tools that he has around his legs and on his chest and stuff like that. Easy access. And as you know, you guys enter, it's like a heavy set door that has to get rolled open to enter this place. Quartermaster Clyde just very slowly turns to look at the new. On trunks and sees you guys. And then the officer just takes a step to the side and just gestures at you to talk to him. Hello again. 
the welding mask, like the visor, changes color. It's like glowing before it goes from red to blue. Like it clicks like a blink. Hmm, interesting. She's been snaking around you. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at you like a designer looks at their outfit, which I guess in his case is pretty freaking Accurate. true. Yeah. He lifts up your arm. Oh, like, just cool. grabs and just lifts it up like you're a doll. Nifty. Uh, I was wondering if I could have the armor bolster. Force damage. Mm -hmm. Artificery. Not tampered with. It doesn't seem he's paying attention to you. Ah, that, that tracks, that tracks. <laughs> After questions. realizing that, yeah, she's just gonna hang out and let him do his thing. You see that at some point an assistant of his has come over and is recording down his notations, his verbal notations. Long distance. He finally lets go of your arm, letting you, you know, go slack, hit your side. Request. Hi. Uh, wanted to know how much it would co uh, how much it would potentially cost to bolster the armor. Purpose. Mostly to just take more hits similar to the ones that you've seen. Your purpose. Not to His die. visor blinks to a green color. Futile purpose. Fair enough. Our most recent mission be uh, investigating waystones on the way to our giant outpost. His visor blinks red again. Purpose in pursuit. <laughs> what do I make of him this uh, this fellow race hasn't met him before well off the bat he smells of fire of steel of magic like that sort of ozone sensation or smell and sensation mm -hmm. that magic often carries with it at least more I, I want to say mundane but more common forms of magic as opposed to like druidic or divine ones. Roll me an insight. Insight. There we go. He moves in a both fluid but also jerky manner. Like, how to describe it? His movements are, there's, it's hard to perceive, but there's just something in your primal mind that catches it. It's, it's ever so slightly disjointed, disconnected. The motions themselves are very fluid, but there's like a small break, a low period in which another one gets cued, so to speak. The motions themselves are just fine, and they're, there's such a small dilation time from one to the next that it looks like one more, one long, fluid, normal, semi -normal, normal motion. But you can detect that there's some pause. Ever so slightly. You don't know what sort of creature he is human, elf, or he could be dragonborn for all you know. You can't see his form at all, he's entirely shrouded covered in smithing and artificery garb and def um, defensive layers. You don't know what he is, but you get the sensation that he's only half of what or what he is at this point. Maybe less. But he speaks of wisdom in the few times he does speak, or how short he speaks. In the same way that so similar to grandfather. 
Except obviously, grandfather is a bit more emotional and all that. Um, yeah. <laughs> but, this, but this guy speaks with how to say a uh, well-earned knowledge of experience throughout time. I think I think Race would just tilt his head. I don't know if the assistant is looking at at us. And if, if so, he would uh, just look at the assistant and he would say... Yeah, the assistant is, a, is definitely, like, they appear to be some sort of elf. Like, yeah. they're a lot more fleshy than the quartermaster. And he would just say, Your quartermaster, him be one with him purpose. Him That's all right. he knows. Mm, there be a lot of wisdom there, huh? Enough wasn't to keep any of us alive, and apparently all of you. A challenging thing, then. We don't no, scoff at 